Well, broadsiding appreciated getting to the mile today, James. Yeah, he certainly did. He's uh, he's a very interesting colt. Look, he's a two darn hot colt. That's uh, two darn hot's first stakes winner in Australia today, and he did it with a bit of conviction today, which is good to see. Amazing, you know. I remember a few years ago standing on Warren Hill, seeing two darn hot in training with John Gosden himself, and. Uh, you know, you get a part of the bloodstock, and uh, and it's and it's great to have that horse on the roster at uh, Dali in Australia. And it's a it's a pretty promising start he's made with his first season crop. But uh, but as for this horse, uh, he had absolutely no trouble eating up the mile, um, and uh, it should be no surprise to us. He's so nicely bred. Tudan Hobby himself won a Sussex stake, Stakes at three. So um, yeah, I think this horse has got every everything that would be needed to see a horse step up and back up in the Champagne Stakes next week. But that'll be up to us just to see how his health is and, uh, and whether we're happy to proceed with that and put him under that pressure. But I'm sure he gave James McDonald a pretty good feel this afternoon. Well, this morning. <laughs> Congratulations, J-Mac. I know you haven't been on the horse before, but he looks like he's starting to really put it together. He is, yeah. That's an improving two-year-old, isn't it? He'll back up really well in a week's time. Um, real nuggety type of horse. The stronger the race, the better he'll go. And he's ticked that mile box. He's a horse on the rise, so he's, he's coming in at the right time. He quickened well once he got a clear run. Yeah, he did. He, 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 um, he used good acceleration, but I think that race will even bring him on anymore. Well done. Nice.